Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. This is Penguin Tech. Today I'm going to try to uh, un undervolt my Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580 since many of you watch my undervolt guide which I did using Power Color RX 550. But this time I'm going to try it on my Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 550. Now the difference between Power Color Red Devil RX 580 with Sapphire Nitro Plus 580 here is is that um, the Sapphire runs at a higher clock which is 1411 actually and the power color RX 580 I used last time was running at 1350 on the silent BIOS both of them comes at stop voltage of 1.15 and I'm tr going to try to undervolt this Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580 to see how low it goes. Now, this Nitro Plus 5 RX 580 has a bit higher sync value here, like about 3% than that of the Red Devil RX 580, which you can check it out in my undervolt guide there. And But this one also runs at a higher clock speed, uh, about... 60 megahertz higher and so the last time the RX5 the last Red Devil RX580 was stable at 1.03 voltage so let's see how low can this go so to start off I think I will go with 1.05 and then test it out in the super position and see how it goes 4K Direct X. So uh, I ran into an issue where the benchmark crashed. I guess I was a bit too ambitious here, and I will actually have to. So even the driver itself crashed. So what I have to do is to open. Wow, so the driver itself crashed so bad. So even at 1065 millivolts, the benchmark also crashed. So I guess we have to... This is not like a down clock. This is not like undervolt anymore. This is like revolting. <laughs> so I have to go back to the set. Likewise, the driver crashed again. So now I'm back into the driver again and this time I'm going to set it to 1080. This is a lot, this is about 0 0.05 higher than the Power Color Red Devil RS580 running at 1350. So let's just click apply and then rerun the benchmark. So honestly, please do not do the undervolt like what I did just now. Okay, so the benchmark has completed and it passed at 1080 millivolts. And the score is 3623 here, and which is higher than 3611 that I run without the undervolting. This is within 5% variation, so there should be no much difference in terms of gaming. But uh, I'm going to try to lower it down to 1075 because this is the actual 15 millivolts stepping down here and let's try to run the benchmark again and see if it pass the benchmark. So we passed the benchmark for 1075 mini millivolts as well and the score is 3643 which is even higher than the stop voltage 3611 and and the 1080 volt millivolt at which got the score of 3623. So now it's quite interesting I must say because we have managed to reduce for um 75 millivolts which is less than 100 millivolts and so I don't expect we have significant gains in the temperature but of course the performance as you can see it is not impacted 
the power color Red Devil RX 588 could do an undervolt to 1030 millivolts at 1350 megahertz clock speed but for this sapphires running at 1411 megahertz it could only do 1075 which is 40 millivolts higher which i guess since the sapphire has a clock speed of more of about 60 megahertz more it actually requires 45 millivolts more as well to get it stable which is quite interesting it's about 1 megahertz for 1 millivolt there the ratio which is quite an interesting finding I mean if you don't consider the async value here which is almost negligible since it's about since this sapphire is only about 3% higher well without further ado let's go into a gaming benchmark I'll test out the Far Cry New Dawn benchmark here which I have previously tested with the stop vertex and you'll we'll see the difference so we're in the benchmark now as you can see there's a huge dip at the beginning of the test here I'm not sure why and the fan is slowly ramping out now as you can see from here the GPU is sitting at just 61 Celsius and slowly raising also and the fan speed is ramping out as well but you can see the clock speed is maintained at 14.11 which is no problem as of right now and the average FPS is still at 73 now but I'm expecting 71 or 72 at the end of the benchmark okay so we have gotten our result here there's a huge tear at the beginning of the benchmark which I'm I think it will not happen if I rerun the test but but anyway our point here is that uh, the average HPS is 72 which is the same as the one in the stock voltage at 1.1.5 volt and so you can see there is no change in the performance and even no gain as well but uh, as for the temperature I do see some dips during the recording but definitely not significant and the wattage definitely decreased as well together with the fan RPM so you only gain a bit in terms of thermal performance and uh, noise but the performance stays the same so quite an interesting finding here I mean when we talk about 1 millivolts for 1 megahertz gain hmm. Well, that is all for me today guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends if you find this video interesting. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!